Not long ago, I, uh, I talked with Neil Armstrong about, well, basically the dream that will climax with Apollo 11. Uh, you're supposed to be, and you are a pilot, not uh, a philosopher, but uh, you are going to be the first man to land on the moon. You must have thought well beyond the technical, purely scientific aspects of this mission. So I want to ask you really a kind of an impossible question, but you're the man that, to give the answers. What do you think this mission will tell us about, uh, about man? If we are successfully able to execute a touchdown and return, it's going to give us an unmeasurable amount of confidence. Because probably the greatest result of the flight is going to assure those those people who have been spending uh, long hours late at night for many years in the computer labs across the street and in the simulations uh, over in the other building and and the program offices that uh, the the almost staggering technical job that they tackled is in fact possible for for man to conquer and uh, given that confidence uh, we will then be in a much better position to accurately judge what we should tackle in the future it, it won't be marred by a lack of understanding of what can and can't be done it can be judged on its value you think it might help us to uh, maybe solve some of our uh, less exotic problems here at home on Earth? Well, I certainly hope that uh, that we would take the, the more successful uh, approaches that have been used in this kind of a uh, program and find ways to apply those approaches to, to other problems. I, uh, I don't necessarily agree that uh, just because these people have been, in this in this uh, approach have been successful that uh, we uh, should uh, take their resources away from them and give them to, to some other people who have been less successful in their endeavors. I get the impression you think we might be able to do both. Well, I certainly think we can. We're a great country. Uh, we have a lot of abilities and uh, when we direct our efforts uh, toward an understood goal, we uh, we usually solve the problem. You know, I think I was wrong in putting that question to him in the, the way I phrased it. Uh, he is a philosopher, too, as well as a pilot. He's a young man who uh, means what he says and says what he means. We're back in mission control now to see if we can't get some more communication. Delta Columbia, 